So there I was wrapping up a client's call, feeling pretty good about their latest campaign. Then my phone rings. It's my HVAC client, panicking over a fresh one-star Google review. My client was sure, and he said that, and I'm quoting this: "I can guarantee this is a fake review. We don't have any customer by that name. In fact, that's our competitor's company owner's name." And you know what? I know that client and his business. He, they are total pros. My client was freaking out, watching their heart earn 4.9 star ratings start to slip as their marketing company. We thought we can help and I started digging into every trick and tactic videos blog posts I could read watch and I will tell you one thing it actually worked in this video I'm breaking down exactly what I did to get that fake review taken down and how I have used these strategies to protect other clients since let's dive in and learn how to shield your reputation sabotage just a quick note that in case you're looking to hire a marketing agency that could deliver your results feel free to book a call with us using the link given in the description although we don't accept all of the proposals that we get because we usually reject the percentage of the companies because we think that we are not a good fit for each other though i would highly suggest you to book a call and see that yourself all right before we dive into how to let's talk about legal stuff for a second because that's pretty important right and here's the deal removing honest reviews that's a big no in most countries it's not just frowned upon it's often straight up illegal so if you're hoping to new a genuine negative review you're probably out of luck unless you can work it out with the reviewer directly right and why because reviews are only useful when they're real and unfiltered think about it if businesses could just erase any review they didn't like what's the point of getting reviews reviews are meant to show real customer experiences good or bad they help people make decisions and can even motivate businesses to up their game if they are not ha having good reviews right now let's get into how you can remove a fake review Let's see that. Just a quick first and foremost step, don't reply to a fake review. When you reply to a review, the chances of that review getting stick is far more. So as a lot of people suggest to reply by saying no custom with this name exists on our client list or stuff like that, it's better to stay back and be silent and focus on getting that removed. Now let's see how you can get it. First thing, go to this page. I'll leave a link to this page in the description and click on request review removal. Now once that is done, click on you would see your business account here. Once you have confirmed the business and google account you would see option like this confirm whether you have reported a review what would you like to do with the review check the status of review i have already reported and my appeal option or report a new review for him i'll have to click on this one then i will click continue then i'll see an option of manage your google reviews now i'll have to pick up the correct ones and the fake one right now once i have found out which one is a fake one i'll just click on report now you will see an option like this whether it's an off topic spam conflict of interest profanity bullying or harassment discrimination or hate speech personal information or maybe report legal issue if there is right most of the cases and when it's a fake review you will have to click on spam then you would have to click submit and this review has been reported to Google. now this is something that you can do from the side of a business right now here's the thing you don't just have this option once this is done then follow the stuff that I'm gonna tell you just copy the URL of the review let me show you how now what you have to do is you have to copy the URL of the review for instance I'll I'm clicking on a random one. I'll click on copy link and then I will share it with my families, friends, everyone I know. Yes, every single person. There would be at least 15, 20 people in your network, right? Your friends, families combined. Now you have to send them this review and ask them to report it, right? Now, how to report that? Let me show you. Just go on to go, just ask them to copy and paste it, paste the review URL, and they will see something like this. Then they just have to click on report review and click on spam, and boom, it's done. That is it that's how you actually report the review once you have sent this to let's say 20 people and 10 of them did this and also once you have the spam one from your business side in most of the cases you would see that review would get removed within the next five to seven eight days right and this is how you can remove the fake reviews that was it guys for today's video i hope you like this if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i'll be very happy to answer just in case if you need any help feel free to book a call with me using the link given in the description and pinned comment that was it for today's video. Bye-bye. I'll see you on the next one.